considering that could still be a possible problem for Democrats in the event this does happen. What if RFK Jr. RFK Jr. leaves the race and endorses Trump? Where does that 5% of the electorate that he has right now in the polling go to? We've seen in recent You're weeks. You're giving that knucklehead 5%? Well, well <laughs> the, polling, the polling right now suggests he's 5%. Now, remember, prior to, prior to Biden leaving the race, he was pulling double digits, Ryan. Okay? Now, what the polling says is that— Have you actually but, but, met an actual human being with a heartbeat and a brain that yeah. was actually considering voting for— a so Kennedy. considering I, I I know people who are actually voting for him right now. Currently. You need better friends, my guy. So, Ryan, I, and, uh, I have seen one RFK side in Lancaster County. Right. If you if you go down um, the, the Pine View Dairy where we get that great diet iced tea. They no more. If you, if, right. If you head down, you go down Roarstown Road, 999, all the way there to New Danville Pike and you hang around right, off the paved road. Right. Right there by the Turkey Hill. In New Danville Pike, there is uh, there was an RFK Jr. sign when I drove by. If there anything, RFK ago. is the great unifier yeah. that could actually unify Republicans and Democrats together to say, "Look at that knucklehead." But, but like in in contrast, you know, when you go back to 2016, now I understand, you know, Hillary Clinton just the worst campaign that, that they could ever Without possibly question. Could have run. Without question, um, honest to God, like it still blows me away, like. She did an interview after Trump was elected with Howard Stern. If she would have done that interview during the campaign, I, I she came off as such a normal, yep, yep, sane yep. person. Like the, the campaign was just it was so bad. Anyway, but like you go back to then, like man, the um uh Gary Patterson. I saw a ton of Gary Patterson signs and stickers and this, that, and the other thing. And I understand Gary, Gary Johnson. Gary, oh yeah, sorry, Gary John Gary Patterson was a football coach. Um, Gary Johnson, um, and I understand the, it was Gary Johnson was splitting the liberal base where RFK generally is splitting the conservative base. Um, but man, I, and, and here's the thing I know I have said it, it might have even have been when the one time the three of us podcasted before. Yeah. Um, but it's not even a matter of if RFK will drop out. And endorse Trump. It's a matter of when. So here's the reason why I was saying fear. that since yeah. March, right? So here's my fear. My, the reason I brought that up. So RFK Jr. was actually polling temp in the ten percent double digits actually prior to Biden leaving the race. Okay. What the polling showed now is that all those dis- disaffected Democrats that were pissed at Biden being in the race still came home, and Kamala has gotten some of those votes. Now Probably. in that, damn it, I did it again. In that five percent, if we're if RFK were to leave the race early enough, how many of those five percenters are still are those mostly got people that were concerned about Trump, especially if he endorses Trump? I, um, again, I don't know these people at all. There is nobody in my nucleus of of family, I understand, and friends and associates that are even. Cons- there was one family member. Who who changed their political um, sign up? Whatever, 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 whatever I'm trying to registration. say. Registration. Um, their registration to independent, and thought about voting for Robert Kennedy, and changed their registration back within a month and a half. Nah, man, there's just nothing there. He couldn't have fumbled any harder than he already does. Wow, I can't believe I even considered that. And that person right back where they started. I don't know anybody that's seriously considering that, so I can't answer that question. Here's here's the thing. I I think the I think the people for the most part that are RFK Jr. supporters are either like you said EJ, they're people who are Lapsed Democrats, they're like, I can't vote for Joe Biden at this point. So yeah, they've they've probably also likely swung swung back now that Kamala is the is the candidate. Um, I think the Kamala Kamala Kamala. Oh, um, right. Um, 
the 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 five percent allegedly that are still RFK Jr. supporters are people that are like, I can't vote for Trump. Because here's the thing, we've seen it for for almost a decade. Trump supporters are Trump supporters. They will literally follow this man no matter what he does. They, they, there was like a uh, man on the street interviews. I saw one time outside of the courthouse when Trump was being convicted of one of his 37 convicted crimes that he's uh, felonies that he's been convicted of. Yeah. Um. And, and they were asking him, like, is there anything that, that Trump could do to keep you from voting for him? And the guy's like, no. He's like, like, I mean, literally, what if he just like came out here and like murdered somebody on the street? And the guy's like, no, I would still vote for him. So like Trump supporters, they're they're voting for Trump. Yep. The people who the, the if they're if there are conservatives who are in the bag for RFK Jr., it's because they can't they, they don't want to vote for Trump. So even I think if he drops out and he's like, oh, I'm endorsing him or I'm endorsing him or however the raspy voice fucking psychopath talks. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, I think those people are just gonna go fuck it i'm not voting this time you gotta hoof yourself in the larynx a couple yeah. times to just, to get sounded like it. Because even, i even, agree i think fucking, of that five even... percent there's there's probably a decent percentage of that five percent that that are never trumpers then mm -hmm. right i'm never gonna vote for a democrat but i'm never gonna vote for donald trump so i can hitch my wagon to this guy and if this guy says i'm endorsing donald trump i'm a never trumper enough and a never vote democrat enough i'm just not gonna vote yeah i think there's a better chance that some of them sit out than swing one way i don't want to say all five percent i still think five percent's really really high yeah um i think that number of everybody voting is probably closer to one percent than five percent realistically i don't think it's a big enough number that it's Be gonna actually matter even, one way or the other if the democrats were to split the five percent that's still good for them right if you leave the poll, right the you you, you if if you're if you are hitching your wagon your wagon to kennedy it's because right you don't like donald trump and you don't like democrats so if kennedy drops out you have to ask whether he endorses trump or endorses barney the fucking purple dinosaur you have to ask yourself, do I hate Trump more or do I hate Democrats more? And I think that's probably going to be a pretty solid, even split. Again, I still don't see 5%. That seems like an astronomically high It feels high like a huge number. And, I, really and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not questioning the polling. It's probably I'm questioning your I polling. will, but that's... But a, it, just, it just seems issue. high to me. Right. And again, maybe that's just my reality where nobody in my orbit is is thinking like that but we're we're again you know where we are in in rural central pennsylvania our conservatives are trump conservatives they so maybe maybe are. there is more of a of, of an rfk conservative you know in in more uh in in cities and, and things like that where it's like we don't agree with the democratic party but I, I, the trump is just completely off the rails and and yeah, so maybe maybe there are more, but but to uh, AJ's point, since Joe dropped out, Kennedy's numbers is, shrunk, shrunk, which means it, which suggests those, that Democrats those home. people are swung back to the left. So what's left is probably who was splitting that vote anyway, and and would lean right. So they would, I mean. Probably they would break more right if if it's truly five percent. And what and what also would break right, or maybe three percent would break right, one maybe break left, and that last percent just not vote. Just doesn't vote right. And, and, and but I don't think a lot of those five percent swings back right. Now, what, a lot of those voters too, also who are Democratic voters, but this of the Democratic Party as a whole, does a Tim Walz pick help? Because a lot, a lot of those voters also be like progressives, also too, who would just who well, would you got to put your balls to the walls. I don't know, EJ. Uh, I mean, Joe Biden is one of the most liberal candidates in the history of the United States. If you listen to the Trump people, he's gonna take your guns. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> like ultra liberal Joe Biden. That's what the commercials used to say, right? <laughs> well, then they said Biden was just the puppet, and Kamala was was the puppet master for the last four years, anyway. Right. 
So oh, let's man. let's uh, go. Brandon quickly turned into well. Brandon wasn't doing anything anyway, and he right. was, he was, he was sleeping. On- That's what I'm saying they can both ways. He can't be evil genius or a sleepy Joe. He can't. You right. can't both ways. Either right. he's really that bad and can function, or he's really an evil genius. Joe Biden, like that both, NSYNC video. Both not exclusive. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's- All right. One last thing we got here. 